Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. So the final trailer for Captain America Civil War dropped today, and I, I like this trailer. I like it a lot. They did such a great job with, like, Captain America Civil War with, like, building up for this movie, with the advertising. They showed us just enough to get interested, and but not enough to spoil it for us, which is how you promote a movie. I'm still talking to you, Batman v Superman. So anyway, let's talk about the trailer, then we're going to start speculating. My favorite part, the speculating part. So, like, you know, then the trailer, it shows, like, Captain America, like, you know, in going through his things with Iron Man and everything, and, you know, how, like, the superheroes, like, are they causing more damage to the villains? They show this powerful scene about all the destruction that they caused throughout, like, their movies with the Avengers, with, you know, uh, what was the other one? Oh, and Captain America, the Winter Soldier. It shows, like, all this stuff that they have caused, and it makes you think, are the superheroes even worth, you know, having around because, like, of all the destruction that they caused? I have a feeling, like, at the front, you know, who's leading this charge is William Hurt, uh, General Ross from The Incredible Hulk. It seems like he wants to make the superheroes soldiers. Ah, we'll get into that in a little bit. And then it shows some other powerful scenes of, like, you know, Iron Man and Captain America. You know they don't want to fight, but it seems like that they have to. And then they show this part where War Machine is, like, gets shot down and is falling out of the sky, and it shows Iron Man, like, pull his mask off. It shows that, like, he might die in this movie. And you can see that, like, that's, like, maybe where, like, Tony Stark just draws a line, like... Oh, this is war now. It's it's on now. We get some really cool shots of Black Panther, too. I'm hella excited for Black Panther in this movie. He looks awesome. It looks like he's going to throw down with Bucky a little bit, so it's like, oh, that's going to be awesome. We get a little bit of a flash of Crossbones in this movie, which is really cool. And, you know, Crossbones, ugh, he's going to play a big role. Trust me. And then we see it. We see the big reveal at the end of the trailer. We see Spider-Man, finally. He is in the MCU officially. You know, I know they said he was in it before, but I wasn't going to believe it until I saw it, and he is in it. His suit looks awesome. It looks like the Alex Ross kind of suit that he's drawn. And you can tell, like, it's got, like, you know, maybe, like, Tony Stark's, like, built him a suit that can actually, like, you know, that isn't just cloth. It's an actual, like, you know, kind of armor or something. His eyes, like, focus in and everything it's like hella cool it's like this is a spider-man suit that like i think is probably the most accurate to the comic that we've seen so far so anyway let's just get into speculation right now i think that william hurts general ross is like leading the charge with this and the reason why is like because he wanted to weaponize the hulk in the incredible hulk movie so what he wants to do now is he wants to like weaponize like all the superheroes he wants to make the avengers like an army for like you know whatever that he's up to and that's why he's got crossbones and everything i feel like he's pulling the strings and manipulating Iron Man in this movie. What would be even cooler, though, is if General Ross became the Red Hulk, because he becomes the Red Hulk in the comics, and I think it would be awesome if he became the Red Hulk in this movie. There are rumors that the Hulk will, like, maybe make a cameo appearance in this movie, and nothing's confirmed, but oh, it'd be awesome if we did really did see the Red Hulk. Oh, man, I would love to see the Red because we don't have the thing in this universe, so it would be nice to see the Hulk throw down with something else, maybe other than the Abomination. The reason why I was saying earlier that Crossbones like is going to play a big part in this movie is because in the comics is some people know Captain America does die at a point in the comics and Crossbones is the one who kills Captain America so it's like oh in the comics like are they going to do this in the movie I I highly doubt that they are going to kill off Captain America I really do but like you know you never know would it be a great movie it would it's kind of like with you know and this speculating right now because like it does just because the villain is in the movie that kills them in the comics doesn't mean that they are going to die it's kind of like with the you know batman versus superman movie we know doomsday is going to be in it so you know like but is superman going to die we don't know because doomsday killed superman in the comics but maybe it's too early to pull that card we don't know but anyway we're talking about captain america civil war right now not dc either way i am stoked for this movie i can't wait to start my artist corner drawing for it i'm really just like i'm ready to get into it i'm ready to review captain america and captain america winter soldier and everything i'm excited for it you know this is going to be a great great marvel movie it's going to be a good it's a good summer for superhero movies it looks like you know i'm still worried about batman v superman but suicide Squad. I'm ecstatic for that. I'm ecstatic for this movie and, you know, all the rest of them to come. So, as always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.